What's up everybody? If you're gonna be listing and selling short sales, you do not wanna miss this video. What's up, Steve at Steve Invest, helping real estate agents, brokers, as well as real estate investors grow their businesses with a path toward financial freedom. So short sales, are they coming back? I don't know, it's 2020, the market's been going strong for a while now. And uh, honestly, I think we're gonna see more and more of these coming up. So if you've never done a short sale before, uh, be sure you check out the playlist. I'll put the link down below so you can watch all the videos pertaining to short sales. Um, I also created a, a very affordable course on how to properly list and sell short sales. But today's video, we gotta talk about some upcoming changes because even if you've done short sales in the past, the game is changing. And I'm gonna show you exactly what's going on. Um, if you haven't heard of Mr. Cooper, uh, basically they just did a name change. He was formerly Nation Star Mortgage Holdings. So Nation Star, Mr. Cooper is pretty big. They employ about 7,000 people. Um, they have about 3 million customers and loan out about 500 billion. So they're, they're pretty big and pertaining to short sales. If anybody is in default, they're changing the game and uh, you gotta watch this all the way through because I'm gonna get into the, the, the nuts and bolts of really what has changed and what is changing. And I anticipate that other people are gonna follow suit as well, other lenders, other mortgage, um, other banking institutions are probably gonna start doing uh, comparable things that Mr. Cooper's doing. So let's jump into this. All right, again, right now, this is specifically just for Mr. Cooper. I'm gonna read some of this for you as well. So basically they retain, retained a uh, real estate entity. They're actually a real estate brokerage, I believe out of Texas. And uh, it's called Zome and it's spelled X-O-M-E. Uh, it's pronounced Zome, I think. And uh, anyway, they retain this company and basically they're gonna be assisting in the marketing of these short sales. So again, if you guys are listing short sales or even if you're buying short sales, you're gonna wanna pay attention to this. So I'm gonna read off some of this for you guys. In order to verify market value of the property, Mr. Cooper will use the services of Zoom to conduct an expanded market cam marketing campaign followed by an online offer validation of the property in which additional offers may be submitted. Look, if you look at, watched any of my other videos and even the short sale course that we offer, we're gonna be updating it with a video on this as well because um, it is changing. If, if traditionally short sales were set up where you would go to open market and you would review all the offers with your seller and then you would pick and choose one offer, get it executed, submit it to the bank. They would do their valuation, come back and say, you know, it's either too low or we accept it and done deal. But with this, the game is changing. Like I said, they're actually gonna be um, doing an auction process associated with your short sales if any of them are owned by Mr. Cooper and Nation Star. In order for us to proceed your short sale request, you and your agent will both need to read the terms and conditions carefully, sign the form indicated, and return the fully executed document to your real estate agent. And look, you, you guys have a stake in this as listing agents. You're gonna have to sign off on this form. I'm putting up some of the language here for you guys as well so you can read it in detail. Um, you can go ahead and pause this if, if need be and review it. Uh, take screenshots, do what you need to do, but this is something you guys are spe specifically gonna have to sign off. Talking about the potential benefits, you may avoid foreclosure of the sale of your property. Any foreclosure sale date will be suspended while the property is in the validation program, which is awesome because that was one of the things where both entities were, were not talking. The foreclosure department was not talking to the short sale department, and it was kind of a race against the clock because if you had the listing for the short sale, you even had a buyer, you had a short sale negotiator, you're going through that process, that didn't stop the foreclosure process. And in some cases, foreclosures did happen right underneath of us. So uh, this is a good, this is one good thing that I see coming out of this where they will suspend the foreclosure date. Uh, the proceeds of the short sale have used to pay off the balance of your loan to the extent recovery deficiency balances is permitted by law. The remaining deficiency balance of your loan will be waived subject by, to approval by the mortgage insur insurance provider. That's huge. So they're saying right now, if you guys proceed with this, get an acceptable short sale, they're gonna waive the deficiency. That is huge. Again, it's subject to the more, you know, if you have mortgage insurance on your property, then uh, you might run into some issues with this. But um, other than that, it's basically, they're saying we're gonna go ahead and waive 
the deficiency judgment against you. Um, and it really depends on the banks. There's certain banks here on a local level, uh, like certain credit unions that would not waive a deficiency judgment no matter what. And I'm sure they're probably still going to continue doing the same and not waive any deficiency judgment. But um, you know, kind of peace of mind if you have a, a buyer or a seller, a borrower that borrowed from Nation Star, Mr. Cooper. Um, I think that uh, they're going to be in good standing in terms of having a good chance of waiving any deficiency judgments against them. Um, another thing too is if your seller is living in the property and they're kind of financially strapped, um, right here it says you may be eligible to you may be eligible to relocation assistance to assist with the costs associated with moving if the final approved offer is received through the validation program. So. Um, that's great. That could be, you know, the expense of maybe uh, first month's rent, maybe a moving truck. Anyway, you guys figure out, um, I don't know the whole process yet, but how we've done it in the past with other lenders is whoever's going to close it, whatever title company or attorney company that's going to actually close this deal, you got to put on the HUD, the settlement statement, a relocation assistance. So they'll actually get a check. Your seller will get a check at closing to use those funds and have the appropriate funds to move out of the property. Pretty cool. All right, the next thing is Mr. Cooper may include the property in an expanded marketing campaign followed by an online auction of the property in which additional offers may be submitted. Okay, so it's interesting. They're, they want to take these properties and uh, on top of what you're doing to market them through MLS and online, they're actually going to be doing an online auction. Um, it, it's, it could get a little squirrely with, um, you know, like even right now on this deal, we already have a contract signed by a buyer um, on this specific house right now. And, you know, there's no guarantee that they're going to get it. And basically what um, Mr. Cooper is saying is that buyer still has to go through this online auction process if, if they implement it because it says Mr. Cooper may include the property in an expanded marketing campaign. So on this specific short sale, we don't know if they're actually going to uh, make this part of the short sale process for this specific property, but it's saying may, so it didn't say they are. So we're just waiting on this specific property if they're actually going to put it in this online auction. If they do and you already have a buyer lined up, signed contract, or whatever, that buyer's still going to have to submit through the online auction and then essentially they're going to look at all these offers, all these bids and they're pretty much going to go at the highest one. Some of the stipulations for the listing agent, they must provide access to the property for a third party valuation to be completed prior to the event. That's uh, what we call the BPO. I've got another video on BPOs and how to make money doing that anywhere from 40 to $100 per BPO so you might want to check out that video as well. Uh, but basically they're saying that you as a listing agent have to provide access. It makes sense because that's traditional short sale stuff right there. Um, they're also saying making your property available for at least one open house date prior to the event and directing any interested parties to submit offers through the process. Uh, responding to inquiries and assisting all other party interested parties and providing zone potential buyers and the winning bidder all legally re required disclosures related to the property all right so basically it's just saying that you're gonna um you know assist in in this uh, auction process if a higher offer is obtained through the offer validation program mr cooper may present such offer to you through your listing agent for, uh, for consideration, Mr. Cooper will evaluate the current offer and any other offers obtained through the offer validation program and may make a firm decision on acceptability. That's interesting. So firm decision, um, uh, it, it's basically telling me that, you know, whatever the price is, whatever pr um, offer prices come in, they're just gonna accept one. It doesn't seem like they're gonna even try to negotiate um, maybe the highest bid or whatever the case is. Um, this part, especially for buyers, especially if you are working with a buyer, uh, you want to know about this in connection with the auction and marketing services provided by Zoom. A buyer's premium and an amount not to exceed 5% of the winning bid amount shall be added to the winning bid amount to establish the total purchase price. Look, if your buyer is coming in 
they're going to be expected to pay a 5% premium. So you want to uh, you want to be aware of that and understand that and that's ultimately how this third party is getting involved. They're making the money on the buyer side. They're making the money from the buyer's premium and 5% is a lot. Uh, unfortunately, you know, sometimes short sales are not necessarily the best price, the best deal on the market. Um, I think people want to buy distressed properties because they're going to buy into that instant equity in on on a property. Um, but five percent is going to eat in on on a lot of that uh, a lot of that equity position. So um, whether that goes down in the future, who knows? But that's where they're at right now these days. Um, <clears throat> the next thing, once the event has ended, the buyer will be asked to sign the purchase contract with the winning bidder. The signed contract and all supporting documentation will be sent to your listing agent to obtain signatures. In order to complete the short sale, you'll need to submit the fully executed contract to Mr. Cooper within 48 hours for uh, final written approval. One thing too, and in short sales in general, uh, you guys have to be very, very diligent in terms of how quickly you're getting these things to, to the uh, lenders. Also, one last thing too is as a listing agent, they actually provide you um, the actual um, uh, verbiage that you're gonna have to put into the MLS on where that they can go to bid for the property. Um, if you are listing a lot of short sales, it's a lot of work, but the reward is great. You're helping people avoid foreclosure and you guys can make a lot of money in commission dollars doing so. So you wanna make sure that you have the right team set up. If you guys are interested in really taking this to the next level, we do have a course that we created. It's very cheap. The link's gonna be down below for you as well. Uh, but before that, take a look at the playlist that I have pertaining to how to list and sell short sales. Start there, check it out, and uh, I'll see you there on those next videos. Appreciate the support. See you.